I have it pointed towards some golfing because uh, my golf swing is pretty good, but Jaron, you're talking about something else this morning, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Kevin. It's 6:44 on this uh, Tuesday morning. I would love to see Kevin Smith on a golf uh, on a golf course. Maybe he can come out to the third annual yes, golf tournament by the Capital Area Law Enforcement Foundation. It is coming up in just a couple of weeks. And joining us this morning to talk all about it, we have former Baton Rouge Police Chief Carl Davity as well as Tanya Garofalo joining us this morning. Good morning to both morning. of you. Good Thanks morning. for being here. So tell us about this uh, law enforcement uh, golf classic. Obviously, first for folks at home who don't know what Kayla is the Capital Area Law Enforcement Foundation. So this is a third annual golf classic. That's correct. This is our third annual golf classic and uh, it is, uh, you know, CALIF is, a, is an organization that raises funds to help law enforcement agencies that can't provide uh, safety equipment to their officers. Uh, so we are completely dependent upon donations that we get uh, to fund this, our, our mission. So. Uh, this golf classic is one of our fundraisers that we do every year, and uh, it has been a really good fundraiser for us. And this year it's happening on Monday, April 8th. Uh, it gives kind of the details on when and where and how folks can be a part of it if they want to if they want to come out and be a part of the classic. Well, our golf tournament starts on April 8th. They can go to calif.la and register on there uh, if they have a team, if they want to be a, a sponsor. And if they don't want to, if they don't play golf, they can also be a part of this because we're going to do a big ball drop. We're going to have a whole bunch of golf balls in a helicopter. We're going to drop them and the winner will be the closest to the hole. So you, everybody has an opportunity to win something in this event. That's pretty cool. That sounds like an event for Kevin Smith. I don't know <laughs> if he can actually swing. He can maybe have a ball drop from the sky. So Caleb, Caleb was actually started uh, about three years ago after that tragic shooting that we experienced here in Baton Rouge. Tanya, uh, your husband tragically killed in that shooting. Uh, so yes. just talk about what Caleb <laughs> means to you and what it has meant for you over the past couple of years and why you think it's so important that people can do all that they can to support this organization. Uh, it's extremely important because, uh, for one thing, it's to raise money for vests and safety equipment. Um, vests are the top priority, and um, they're not just any vest. It's it's vests that's going to sustain a high-profile rifle, um, and it's going to protect them. Had my guys or my husband, Brad Garofola, if he'd had that that day or the other guys, the outcome would have been differently. Mm -hmm. And so talk about kind of the success of Calif over the past couple of years. You know, it's a, a fairly new organization, but already the community has really come out and supported this organization. Thousands of dollars already raised. You guys are doing some great things in the community. Yes. Um, it, I don't know how many vests we've been able to provide so far, um, but it's, it's been quite a bit. And that makes me feel good. Uh, as a widow and and to know that maybe other families don't have to go through the same thing. It's gonna happen, I know it is, but at least if it could save one life, that means the world to somebody. That means everything to that family, to that mom, to that brother, to that sister, to their kids, it means everything. And what's the cost? You know, go out there and play some golf. Sponsor a team if you don't play. Just play, it's saving lives. And that's what's important. Absolutely, you yeah. said it best there. Uh, you know, Caleb, over the, the three years we have, we are a relatively new organization. But in this little short time, this community has really been a part of Caleb, and they've really helped us a lot. They've allowed us to assist over 40 agencies with protective gear and equipment. Um, we've spent almost $1.4 million in protective gear and vest over the last three years. So, uh, and the demand is still there. So we need to keep this going and we need to keep helping our law enforcement agencies and our first responders. You know, this is also going over into the fire departments and to EMS personnel also. Great actions that go a very long way right here in our community. If you want to be a part of all of it, we're going to have all the information on the third annual Golf Classic that is uh, the, the Capital Area Law Enforcement Foundation is hosting again Monday, April 8th. Just head to our website, brproud.com, for all of the information and how to register. Thank you guys for being here this morning. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you. All right, we're going to take a quick break. Your morning express show is coming up next.